Hello friends, I am Dr. Harvinder Singh and this short video is actually from our Bipolar Disorder Update 2020 conference which was released recently. This is an online conference so if you're interested you can um, go to the page that I will post below and enroll and finish at your own time. But this is one of the chapter, one of the discussion I should say from the conference. And in this section I talked about all the lithium's adverse event management in these five sections on nephrology, parathyroid, thyroid, neurological and gastrointestinal. So this is more than 40 minute long lecture. But this video is actually just a very short section on polyuria. How to what labs to do for polyuria and how to interpret them. Hopefully this is helpful. And again, if you're interested, please scroll down below to read more details about our bipolar disorder update 2020 conference. Thank you. Now let's go to laboratory evaluation. Let's say your patient presents with polyuria, polydipsia, or you accidentally found an abnormal uh, kidney function on the routine testing. So what will you do? What will be your next step in those cases? The first is always to repeat the basic metabolic panel to look at the serum creatinine and the EGFR. Um, and when you repeat it, look at the changes in the EGFR level. Because if you see a decline in glomerul glomerular filtration rate, EGFR, that can tell you what level or what classification of renal impairment your patient is in. And mostly renal impairment is classified as mild, moderate, severe, and renal failure based on these values of EGFR. And uh, that tells you the severity of kidney damage also. But to understand it more, uh, I will recommend getting these labs also, which is you can do a ratio of the BUN blood urea nitrogen to creatinine ratio. That will help you differentiate the pre-renal causes from the renal causes like dehydration, vomiting, diarrhea. These are more pre-renal. They can easily be differentiated based on this BUN to creatinine ratio. And the fourth one is uh, another ratio, which is the urine test now. This is urine protein to creatinine ratio. This can help us rule out the renal causes, like more glomer glomerular uh, pathologies. Um, and then fifth one is getting a urine analysis. This will rule out any infections, um, UTI, urinary tract infections, uh, causing this uh, physical symptoms as above. And the last one is HbA1c because uh, the diabetes is very well known cause uh, for uh, changes in the creatinine levels. So this is the basic lab work that you need to do whenever you find any abnormal uh, nephrology uh, from a kidney standpoint any nephrological uh, symptoms that a patient is showing on a lithium treatment. I hope this was helpful. Um, thank you again. You all have a good day. Take care and bye for now. <laughs>